Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be making meatloaf. So my nephew Carlos, what's up Carlos? He asked me two months ago, I know, it's taken me a while to get this video up, but he asked me if I could make a meatloaf recipe for him. He said he didn't want it to have ketchup and it had to have gravy. So I have the perfect recipe for you today. Also, does anyone even make meatloaf anymore? I mean, I love it. But it's like if you go to a restaurant, it's very rare that you find meatloaf on the menu. So if you've been looking for the perfect meatloaf recipe, or if you have picky eaters, just keep watching because I have a delicious meatloaf recipe that I'm about to share with you today. So keep watching. Here I have two pounds of ground beef, one cup of diced onion, half a cup of diced green bell pepper, one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half tablespoons of chopped garlic, one tablespoon of fresh thyme, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, tomato, tomato, a quarter cup of chicken broth, three quarter cup of breadcrumbs, and I'm using the Italian style, and two beaten eggs. For the gravy, I'm using three cups of beef broth, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce, and one and a half teaspoons of better than bouillon beef base, and then salt and pepper to taste. And I'm going to be using three tablespoons of cornstarch mixed in with a quarter cup of water. And then I'm gonna add in just a splash of heavy cream. Okay, so now I'm going to get some oil in the pan. I don't know, a couple of tablespoons. I just, I don't, I don't measure. Swirl that around. And then I'm gonna add my onion and my bell pepper. I'm gonna season that with the salt and pepper. Okay, so I have this sauteing for eight minutes on a medium to low heat because you do not want your onions to burn. So now to this, I am going to add in my garlic, the thyme, the tomato paste, and the one tablespoon of Worcestershire, which is Stir that up. So you just want to saute this for about a minute. Okay, so after one minute, I'm going to add the chicken broth. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this and put it in a bowl. So you wanna let this cool completely, completely, a good 20 to 25 minutes. And it should look something like this. And we're gonna add this to the meatloaf once it completely cools. So now to the meat mixture, I'm gonna add in my breadcrumbs two eggs and the onion mixture has completely cooled. So I'm going to add that in and with my clean hands I'm going to mix. Okay so it's pretty much mixed and when you're going to mix everything in here just do it. Don't over mix your meat. It's just get in there and get out okay otherwise it just makes it more tough so it's pretty much blended in everything's blended in there okay into my pan i'm using this kind of um like a roasting pan i lined it with foil and i'm gonna spray it don't use a like meatloaf pan or nothing mm -mm. we're gonna put it on here Dump it in there. And now I'm going to start shaping it into a loaf. Okay, so I pretty much shaped it into a loaf. I have my oven on at 350. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to cook it for 55 
35 minutes to one hour. Okay, now I'm gonna start on the gravy. So I'm gonna add in my three cups of beef broth. A teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I don't know. I don't know how to say Worcestershire. I don't know, Worcestershire. And then I have just a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. I didn't even measure like a pinch of salt and pepper. Now this better than bouillon, the roasted beef base, this can be salty. So that's why I added just a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add in one teaspoon and a half. So a teaspoon and a half of that bouillon base. You can find that in the like chicken broth section, the soup section. So I'm gonna mix all this around. I'm just gonna bring this to a boil. So now that it's starting to boil, I have in here my three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm gonna add in my water. Mix this up. Make sure you mix it up really good. You don't want a lumpy gravy. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat on medium. Add this in here. And stir it really good. And you wanna simmer this on low for about three to four minutes. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add in a splash of the heavy cream. Mix that up. Oh yeah, perfect. So this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and the meatloaf has about 10, 15 more minutes left to cook. And after one hour, I took it out and it is all done. Now I just need to put the gravy. Mm, mm -mm. And of course, you can add whatever side you want, but I put some mashed potatoes and corn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit to my potatoes. Oh yeah. And there you go, meatloaf with gravy. Bon appetit. And what time is it? Time for me to dig in. Also, I forgot to mention, when the meatloaf comes out of the oven, um, let it rest for 10 minutes. Don't, don't cut into it yet. Like I covered it with foil, just like, you know, a little bit of foil, and um, I waited 10 minutes before I cut it. And, I don't know if you can tell, but like um, the onions and everything, you can't even tell that it's in here. That's why I said for picky eaters, like they're not gonna see the onions and the bell pepper, nothing in there. But now let me give it a taste. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. The meat is tender. It's not, this isn't a dry meatloaf. This is like a juicy meatloaf. And also for the gravy, don't go buying that jar of gravy, you know, it's already made. Make your own, I'm telling you, it's it's delicious. It's very delicious. Nothing compared to that store-bought gravy, okay? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you make this uh, recipe, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.